Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So here we are again. Equilibrium and Reaction Rates, video number 19. Bam! Enthalpy is delta H. So when you see enthalpy, when you see delta H, you read enthalpy. So here we go. Let's find out a little bit more about enthalpy or delta H. So the measurement of the energy of a system is the enthalpy. It's measured typically as heat, and that's a temperature term. Okay? If it is exothermic, then it's product favored, it releases heat, the temperature increase, and the value is negative for the delta H, but it's located, the delta H value, if you have a value, it's located on the product side as a positive value. Okay, let's see how that differs from the counter to this, which is endothermic. If it is endothermic, it's reactant favored, it requires heat, the temperature decreases, and the value is also positive, but this time that positive value is on the reactant side. Okay? So we got two equations here. You're going to figure out which one is endothermic, which one is exothermic, which one is exothermic, which one is endothermic. And you're going to figure that out by the position of the enthalpy term, which is the heat term. So we got one reaction here. This is ammonium nitrate. You're going to add this to some water, and you get ammonium ion and nitrate ion. Those are both aqueous solutions. You notice where the heat term here is. Where is the heat term? It's on the reactant side. So that tells you whether it's endothermic or exothermic. And then this one particularly, since it's on the reactant side, it would be what? That's right. Okay, and then this next one over here is calcium chloride plus water gives you calcium hydroxide, HCl, and heat on the product side. Notice that heat is here on the product side. I want you to see both these reactions. Notice that the heat term is both positive on both instances. Doesn't matter if it's on the reactant side or the product side. But what is important is what side of the equation is the heat term on. Now, the heat term is typically uh, valued as a numeric value. So it could have been 6 kilojoules or 7 kilojoules or 52 kilojoules. Okay, we already did some equilibrium problems where we had a delta H, the enthalpy value. Remember when we were doing that production of ammonia, the Haber process. So look up the Haber process and find that enthalpy term. It's right in there. And there was another video prior to that which had an enthalpy term as well. So if the heat is on, so that first reaction right there, if the heat is on the reactant side, then that is endothermic. Okay, I put the blue there because that generally is requiring heat. That's the temperature decreasing. If the heat term is on the product side, then it is exothermic. Okay, and that's liberating heat, giving off heat. It's a negative delta H, but it's on the product side. Okay, all right. So, that was the next video in our series. Oh, the 50th anniversary. Man, if I were only that old. Hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up.